Hey yo, what is up everybody? It is King Hitman here. I hope you guys are doing all right. I am excited to show you guys the kits and go over the kits and overview for the two Super Saiyan gods, the Goku and Vegeta, the Tekken STR ones. And most of them, I'm gonna start off with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because I feel like that's what we're all here for. Right? It's not front, right? Let's get into it. Gogeta and Omega Shenron. Now, Gogeta, his leader skill is fusion, gets three key stats 170% or tech type will get three key stats 100%. I guess that would be nice. Who would that be nice for? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I was about to spitball a unit. I can't even come up with one. Super attack effect of 100 times Big Bang Kamehameha, the Hydro Pump. Don't die, though. We'll never forget the corny memes we used to come up with. Greatly raises attack for one turn, immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill attack and defense 150%. My boy, he debuffs extreme class enemies attack and defense by 20%. He has a high chip. This is an interesting mechanic, by the way. I've never seen the way it's worded. It seems as though it's either going to be you roll the dice once and you either have it for the rest of the fight or you don't have it at all. And another way it's worded, it seems as though it's going to be calculated on every attack. And then the third and most likely way to me is it's simply calculated every turn. I would assume it's calculated every turn, but remains to be seen. Unless Goresh or something like that knows already. I don't know. I haven't watched their videos yet, of course. Now, he has a high chance of being effective against all types. So 50% chance. My boy, he gets an additional 25% attack and defense for 5 turns with each super attack performed up to 50%. So basically, I mean, I'm stupefying it, but he's kind of greatly raising his defense It like in multiple ways. Like the 25%, 25, 50% if he double supers. And then he's greatly raising attack twice and defense twice in that one turn off his super attack effect. I hope I didn't make that too convoluted, but I think you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, so that's an interesting mechanic. It's it's an additional super attack buff. Now, is it cal it's not calculated. I guess it's not. I guess it's not like a Huh. How is that? How is it factored? Like how is it combined? That's weird. Like we've never seen a mechanic like that upon super attack in the middle of their passive the way it's built for a turn limit. That's interesting. So I got to see how it's, it's calculated the math on it. I want to know if it's a flat 50% buff or is it calculated into the rest of his passive. Gogeta also has a, this is what makes him elite and which this is why a lot of people are going to put in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta away, which sucks to see, man. I love that guy, but Tech Gogeta, there will never be a, a like the feeling I got when I pulled Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on global, even though he had no leader skill, bruh. It was like, it It can't be replicated. Like, obviously I wasn't making videos back when he, in 2017, but just the progress he's made, I'm so happy for him, man. I, I love this, to see him come full circle, EZA. He looks like he's elite. I don't really see any issues with him. I just hate greatly lowering defense, right? I don't wanna spend too much time on him, but he does have his great chance to counter super attacks. Yeah, you guys know what it is. He's on so many categories. If you look at his categories a year ago, like go on global right now, literally go on your global account. These four categories don't even exist yet, right? And then a year ago, time limit didn't exist. GT heroes didn't exist. Like that's crazy, man. So I'm happy for him. Now Omega Shenron, Shadow Dragons, three keys, 170 or physical three key, 100. He raises defense on each super attack, immense damage and greatly lowers defense. He always had that stupid lowering defense. I hate it with all of my heart. He gets attack and defense 150%. All enemies get debuffed by 20%. That's an item, bro. Don't don't fool yourself. Like back when I used to really struggle with the game, like back when the game like difficulty was difficulty in a certain way. It's hard to explain. But back when difficulty was different, this was really important, right? Especially cuz he did it to everybody. He didn't care about who you were. He gets an additional attack and defense 10% with each attack performed up to 70%. Now, I know for a fact this is calculated. It has to be calculated differently. We just don't know what the numbers are yet. I don't know. Maybe the wiki didn't post it yet. There's no way this is calculated normally. It's not just a flat 70%. And he launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super. He's going to be insane. Raising, he can triple raise defense on 
super building up. Steve buffing the super battle road. That's crucial. And then he has the startup turn buffs. He, don't forget his link set is one of the best link sets in the game for any villain. Any villain. Him, Super Saiyan, Rose, Goku, Glads, the TURs at least. And then I'd say like Janemba units. Like super Janemba specifically. Not stupid fat boy Janemba. Not Chubbs Janemba. But yeah, he has some of the best link sets in the game. So him having big bad bosses is elite. He's going to go so well with Tech Sin Shinron. When they dropped the banner unit Sin Shinron, I said, yeah, it's a lock. There's no way they don't drop an Omega Shinron EZA during this celebration or an LR Omega Shinron, either or, right? I, I love this. I love this so much. Now let's get into the gods. Now, first, starting off with Goku, he gives Super Tech three key stats 130%. He raises defense for one turn on super, seals super attack, supreme damage. He always did that, right? The ceiling. Passive skill. He gives himself three. What's crazy about these guys is they always gave themselves key. And for Goku, it was really, there was no reason. Like, he was a key battery anyway. He was an orb changer. His links had prepared for battle over in a flash. He never needed it. So I, it's good that he has it, though. Of course, three key. Attack and defense 150. He randomly changes key spheres to of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. I hate when it's random. Like people are gonna crucify me for saying I hate when it's random, but bro, I hate when it's I've grown to hate when it's random. I wanna know oh he's changing AGL to rainbow. Like, he's changing tech to rainbow. I wanna know for a fact. But you know, obviously, there's a bit of RNG to it. He gets attack and defense 7% per key sphere obtained before it was just per rainbow orb and he only got attack he didn't even get defense he gets an additional attack and defense 77 percent with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained that's great and he reduces damage received by 77 percent peak game when there's a movie boss or pure Saiyan category enemy that's so it, it helps him out so much he's going to help every category he's on his link set is elite he's doing so much he's rainbow orb changing he's sealing yeah I don't even worry about him and I do consider him to be the best god Goku in the game I hate the LR I I don't like that guy I really don't so I like this guy and I like what he's bringing to the table 12 key if you don't remember 12 key multiplier of 140 percent Vegeta Vegeta kind of let me down. I wasn't, I'm not really into Vegeta, but Super STR gets three key stats, 130%. Greatly raises attack, supreme damage, greatly lowers defense. That's what they, as soon as I saw this, I swear to you, as soon as I saw this, I knew they were going to try Vegeta. Passive skill, divine pressure. He gives himself the same starter turn buff as Goku. He has a high chance of guarding all attacks. I don't have an issue with this. I don't hate this mechanic as much as other people. He gets an additional attack and defense 77% for three turns after he's been hit. That's dangerous because at the start of a fight, bro, when you don't know if he has his guard, this is when it's a problem. If you don't know if he has his guard, you don't know how much damage he is. Like, he could take 4K or he could take 30K, right? Like, that's, that's not a game you want to play with. So that first attack is going to be a danger to you. But I, I guess it's, I just wish it was five turns, right? Like say the Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas that he's started awakened like around November or maybe it was uh, December. That's when it's great because the way it, it sticks, right? Like you don't have to worry about, this guy is going to be two completely different levels of unit. Or if anything, three, when you factor in his high chance to guard, he's going to have three different levels of defensive viability and offensive viability. One where nothing's active, he doesn't have his guard, and he hasn't been hit yet. One where he does have his buff, but he doesn't have his guard. And then one where he has both, and that's when he's going to build elite. But I don't love that for him, man. He has a medium chance of launching an additional super attack, and he has a great chance of stunning the attacked enemy if it is a movie boss or pure saiyan category enemy. He always had this mechanic, and I used to say it was so good, like people hated on it. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's only gonna be good in Super Battle Road. I don't want to only use this guy in SBR. I want to use him in long events. I want to use him in the God event. I want to use him in places like that. But when the enemy negates that, he he's gonna be so much more vanilla, right? So and it takes away a lot of your your ability to neutralize him, right? Like stunning is 
the most powerful thing in the game if it's if you know you're gonna get it all so it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I loved making it for you. I love Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's EZA. I love what they did for Omega. He's still simple, but he's going to do what he does, right? It's a, it's a new era, right? Like, we're finally EZA in category leaders pretty consistently. So, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. I'm hyped about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Consider checking out the channel. More content, of course, is on the way. The seven-year anniversary isn't even in the middle of its phase, right? Hitman is out.